on and we've got this nice chill music to take us into it. Loving it. We've got Noodle and we've got Tybal. These players looking to uh, make it further into the bracket when we got a, a little Zona battle. Uh, you know, the Wii Fit Trainer, not a stranger to the House of 3000 stream. Perhaps not as used to seeing Noodle as some other number lead players, but Tybal on the other hand with the Toon Link. Not as common a character, although honestly as the meta's gone on, Emma, I feel like we've seen a lot more Toon Link. I think he's really good. I think he... Uh, we saw Young Link for a while, and sometimes we see Adult Link. I feel like he's probably the most rare of all of them, but yeah, Toon Link is a very strong character, just one that we don't see super often, but it seems like um, so far, Noodle, whenever we're able to see those deep breathing combos, it's going to be so much damage output, but in the zoning game, it seems like Tybal's definitely keeping up. That's definitely something Toon Link can do. I mean, Toon Link's a little bit uniquely situated in that, like, even though he's got just loads of projectiles at his disposal and they all travel really slow, that actually helps him get in. He's actually got, like, pretty good movement speed, both in the air and on the ground, and Against a character like Wii Fit Trainer, where you can use those slow projectiles to take space, not worry about stuff like the soccer ball, right? Uh, stuff like the Sun Salutation, you can have that other stuff cover your advance. Mm -hmm. I can see him doing pretty well in this matchup, and both of these players are like, dead even through this first stock. Holding on to our stock offstage, but just going to die to that soccer ball. Did a really good job of weaving around and even air dodging to the ledge there, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder. But the ledge trapping with all these projectiles seems very scary to deal with. Okay, Tybal just choosing to retreat to center stage there instead. Able to get the back air out of shield. No deep breathing though, so these aerials aren't going to do a ton of damage. But still have to be careful here. Tries to kill with the up B. But yeah, just really struggling. We fit can be so daunting to fight against when they have the lead. But able to just run up and find that up smash instead. Only at 34%. Again, yeah, there's Toon Link having like really good ground of movement speed. And yeah, it, it, like you said, it can be tough to get in on Wii Fit Trainer, but honestly, Toon Link has the tools. And it, you would think that this is going to be just like a super duper slow, really long, drawn out zoner battle. But these are both characters that kind of do go in when they're placed against each other, weirdly, even though they're both zoners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're using their zoning tools to find opportunities to get in. They're not just trying to kill you with those options, but rather like we're seeing the bomb into up air or fair or seeing the soccer ball to send you off stage so that we can see like an advantage state from Noodle off stage. Great back air there in center stage, sitting at 93%, but deep breathing's on, so do have to be careful here as Tybal. Don't want to take a ton of damage. One up air for his troubles. Noodle with that landing there. That is the big money maker at those early percents. Does turn the lawn chair into 57 and then climbing even more. Tybal having trouble finding the ground. Finally is able to pull a bomb to cover that advance and that up smash putting in loads of work. One single hit is all you need to take us to last stock. Yeah, I really like the coverage on the landing there. I think that's going to be a great opportunity for Tybal to find those um, stocks, especially we're seeing like a lot of racked up damage, but not a lot of opportunities to kill. So if we're able to see catching with the landing with up smash, that's going to be the ceiling on those stocks. Ooh. Good evasion. Yeah, that up smash definitely could have been curtains if it's sweet spotted, but Tybal able to get out of the way and slowing the pace down now that he's nearing that 89%, right? He's just, okay, kill percents are creeping up on me, especially if that deep breathing comes through. And what I need more than anything is to build up that damage so that I'll have a confirm available to me in the late game. Meanwhile, Noodle is just trying to hunt for that one landing aerial that can end it all, but Tyball keeping that zone nice, tight, and locked down just like Toon Link is wont to do. He does get a straight hit for his troubles as well. Okay, have to be careful about Uppy out of shield from Toon Link as well. It has a lot of kill power on it, but it seems like we're creating a lot of space here from Noodle, not keeping Noodle at the ledge. Ooh, Ooh. this could be scary! Not able to get an extension off of that. Gonna see the bomb into back air, but not gonna kill. Again, just using this bomb, looking for an opportunity. Parrying that soccer ball though, making up a little bit of space, but again, deep breathing active, so stray aerials can do it. So look out for stuff like that forward air rolling committal as well in the forward air once again, catching that jump. Really, really good stuff right there by Noodle to close out. And what started off pretty fast, but right there near the end. Oh yeah. It got it got a little it got a little slow because those two knew the stakes. They knew that it could slow down really, really quickly. Not who I expected to get the confirm off of the bomb. But hey, if you <laughs> see an opportunity, you gotta take it. And take it they did.
Yeah, good stuff to Noodle. I, I've seen Noodle play a few times uh, as well, so I know that this is like a, a high caliber Wii Fit uh, that we're getting to see come up on stage, perform, but you know, uh, again, on the other side, Tyball putting up a really good fight so far. That game one went really down to the wire. I would not be surprised if this went to a game three, I'll be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was a little scary there at the ledge. We were seeing some panic rolls from both players, just both very aware of the opportunities that their characters give them um, to seal up those stocks at the ledge. But, ooh, okay, starting out here with decent damage, able to get that dash attack. Just could be really scary for Noodle off stage, but again, Weefit's just very comfortable at the ledge too, so just taking our time here could be the best option for Noodle. I've seen a couple times committing to that hurricane spin with a little bit of reckless abandon, right? Not knowing the Wii Fit trainer frame data off the top of your head, and frankly, who would? But has gotten punished for it a couple of times, has also gotten reward out of it a couple of times as well, though, and does have a percent lead to show for it. Does not commit to dropping off stage like you would see uh, adult Link do, perhaps, for example, right? Try to take them off the side with that up B. And again, big commit right there, but the deep breathing gone. That could have been really bad for Tybal if the deep breathing was still there. Yeah, I think he didn't overcommit off stage because he was afraid of like a stage spike or something. Um, so just choosing to air dodge back onto stage. And honestly, it might pay off for him. Able to air dodge out of that, not going to get hit with the last hit. Yeah, that was Noodle stopping in the middle of those jabs because off stage like that, the last part of the jab was like at a bigger risk of whiffing than it was actually getting the barrier or anything. So yep. just look for the reset, see if you can get a panic option. Noodle just didn't have the right move ready to punish. But I mean, here in the second game, again, dead even through this first stock. It's just a question of who finds that confirm or that straight hit that matters first. And it's going to be tie ball. Lots of catches on these juggles take the stocks. We saw two up smashes in the first game, and this time an up air chasing Noodle into the skies for it. Ooh, okay, nice damage here. Able to get the up air, just retreating back to the other side of the stage. Doesn't want to overextend, being at 129. Just choosing to throw out these boomerangs and the bombs, looking for an opportunity to get a follow-up. I really like the dash attacks that we're seeing as well. Just really good at covering the space and covering a lot of rollbacks as well. See this platform coverage DB is good escape by Noodle delaying that timing of getting off the platform just to make sure that Taibo was still looking at that bomb but looking at you off stage right now with this forwarder and you're looking mad tasty Noodle it's looking like Taibo definitely could send us to a game three here but Noodle does at least shore up that first stock has deep breathing ready as well but between that punish on the sword plant that could have been a big opportunity. Great. Just playing super patient here at center stage. Keeping Noodle locked here at the ledge. Okay, but able to jump over the platform and reverse the situation. Tybal not in a ton of danger here, but have to be super careful that we're not going to get sent off stage. And able to get the spike. Ooh. Yeah, that's a great opportunity there from Noodle. Knew what they needed to do to clutch up that stock. And now we're looking at a very even game. What seemed like it could have been Tybal's oh, game you're going for, for sure. Again? Oh my gosh. Greed on greed. I don't blame Noodle for going for it anyways, but Tyball does get to get right back into the game. There again, you're seeing the Toon Link projectile game reign superior in this matchup, taking care of a lot of what Wii Fit has to offer. And man, Noodle just having a hard time getting anything started on this last stock. Tyball again starting to slowly build up that lead, but just as quickly as I say that, evaporating Noodle right back into it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I really like the way that he chose to go towards the other side of the platform instead of trying to land on top of Tybal. Tybal's been so consistent in finding those up smashes and up airs to uh, make it really hard for Noodle to get back to stage. Let's we'll see right now, Noodle's sitting at 121, so if one bomb connects, it can be bad. Yep, just going for the quick clean four tilt, because no matter what you do, all you're going to get is something that sends the Toon Link off stage. So I like keeping it simple and clean there, but Noodle didn't get anything. Like the deep breathing going, Ooh. comboing off of the boomerang, really intelligent recognition. And again, straight hit for either of these players could bring about the end of this game number two. Ow! Okay, back throw off stage, tries to go for the soccer ball. It doesn't force a jump or an air dodge though. So Tybal able to make it back to the stage, make it back to ledge, goes to center. Have to watch out for a back hit. Ah! Okay. Yeah, F forward throw, because up throw is not going to be able to do it there yet. Deep breathing, active one, got the a the spike. Bomb. <laughs> wow, Noodle not ready for that bomb to connect, not ready for the stage spike. None of it. We're going to a game three, Emma. Ooh, and the good windscreen, too. We had the one where he's holding the pig over his head. Oh, he caught the pig. <laughs> GG's. This set is good as over.
nothing he can do. He caught the pig. Yeah, there was that forward arrow stage. You know, Tybal being happy to get a little bit more aggressive. I'm amazed that just the header just straight up killed. Like, that's, yeah. not, that's not what that's for. <laughs> Yeah, this was brutal. Able to catch the jump, so not going to make it back. Died at like, what was it, like 50 something? I think like less than that. Oh, honestly. less than yeah. that? <laughs> brutal. Pretty crazy. And hey, would you look at that? We're back to Pokemon Stadium 2. I don't want counter picks, I just want to adapt. That's what the player base has said over the last few years, and that's what you're getting here. So these two will continue to duke it out on the big stage. Nice. Okay, you know what? I really like that up tilt from Noodle, whether or not it was intentional really worked out that it set Tybal up onto that platform, got the boomerang to drift above Noodle so that it wouldn't interrupt any combos. But I'm talking about combos right now. Tybal, real quickly, 30 seconds into the game, has already got Noodle at kill percent, but the same can be said about the Toon Link himself. Ooh, okay. Able to catch the neutral, get up there with up sma or F Smash, and uh, sitting at 99% now. But if we're able to just kind of see this aggressive play, I feel like Noodle's kind of pressed on the gas a little bit. Tybal, a lot of the time, like dashing back or jumping back with the boomerang, and Noodle's just not letting him have that space. Just jumps in his face, and it's making it really hard for Tybal to set up those situations where Noodle has to deal with all the different projectiles on him. Great confirm Man. there. Bomb into fair. Yeah, Noodle not respecting that toss down bomb. How. It doesn't really fall particularly quickly. It covers a lot of space for a long time, and it is always something that Toon Link can combo off of. And Noodle has just like kind of not been recognizing that, like, hey, this is going to be out there. This is something that I need to respect. It's given Tyball a lot of leeway to get back into these games. But again, we're right back into it. And like you said, Noodle's not messing around on this one. This is, I want to shut down this Toon Link. I've been seeing you not earning the time to throw out those projectiles, so I'm back in the cut. Playing a little bit more patient here, but tries to go in. Tybal ready for it, able to get some extra damage, but still kind of climbing a mountain here. This looks like right now it's Noodle's game, so Tybal's going to have to make some plays in order to... Uh... Ooh, okay, that's scary getting hit off stage here. Still two stocks apiece, right? So you got a little bit of room to play with, but you want to try to have that lead, especially as Tyball, you know, you saw how well things went in that game too, being able to play with the lead. You don't want to lose that opportunity, but getting off stage, you know, we it's not always going to go off an edge guard. It's more about that ledge trap game. Meanwhile, Toon Link, on the other hand, can actually go out there, so Noodle could be in danger at any moment, and that time, respecting the bomb on the way back. Ooh, okay, able to hit with the F-tilt there. Barely, like, the back hit of it. Really struggling to get off the ledge here. Maybe trying to use the platform to his advantage, but again, Tybal's just been so consistent at finding that up smash. Able to get the dash attack to seal out the stock. 125, have to be careful. Ooh, there's that bomb just eaten up. The Sun Salutation. Noodle got a little bit greedy for like a crazy combo <laughs> setup. Oh my gosh, Tybal <laughs> says, act, I dare you. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, trying to find that up smash, trying to stuff out the approaches from Noodle, trying to catch him landing on his shield, but not able to find anything just yet. Ooh, nice, nice tech. tech. Noodle really locked in in this game. However, sliding in with the forward tilt, Tybal sends us to last game, last stock, and the Indiana University crowd is loving it right now. But you got to love these combos from Noodle as well. 70% got that air dodge oh, in. Good reaction. Gosh. It keeps what? going. Where is C5 to say bro de ball? Ooh, gets the berry, mashes out of it. Great mash there from Tybal. Okay, okay. Tybal, one last chance to stay in this one after a crazy sequence from Noodle. You gotta build this damage up quickly. You're buried. The air dodge out. Reaction, but no combo. I know Tybal is crazy with Mario Party, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's out of there. This way, that. Play it right now. But we're right in there, slide in with the yoga pose, and that's going to be Noodle closing it out in a real close final game three. Great stuff. We're going to see that Wii Fit Trainer moving on, but Ty Ball made it close all the way to the very end. Yeah, that was a great set. I, frankly, I don't really care for either of those characters, but that was a great <laughs> set. Like, that was very entertaining to watch, and I really liked watching the way that they were adapting to each other, the way that they were using their projectiles to find openings. Just really good stuff to both players, especially Noodle that game two, making it so close. Tybal still able to pull through, but man, had me on the edge of my seat. Yeah.
I, I think that we got to see the good parts of these characters, right? We got to see a lot of those really reliable confirms from Toon Link. It wasn't just, I'm going to chip away and chip away and chip away, and then Stray Hit takes you out, right? It was very pointed as to, these are my win conditions, and I'm going to play to them. And from Noodle's end, we got to see, I mean, great adaptation, especially to that edge guarding game. We saw mm. him drop a couple stocks to that early on, not in that game three. But we got to see that damage rack up so quickly. We got to see those big potential Wii Fit combos. We got to see it come to fruition. Just good stuff on every end. For sure. Yeah, very entertaining watch. I think we have Grompy coming up next. Not sure who they're